Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and I've been gone for a few days. Um, this is the first time I've actually left my house without my family to go visit family. So I haven't um, gone to visit anyone by myself in like five or six years and um it was nice it was a short trip and on this trip I thought I'd share some of the things I got so long story short I pretty much asked my mother to go to a pen show in Colorado this was the uh, Colorado pen show in Denver and she went for me so she picked up items for me and I really wanted her to go because I wanted to have the opportunity to um, get my pens fixed. The only pen smith or the only nib smith grinder that was there was Kirk Spear. We didn't have the opportunity for me to sign up online since this was a week before the Colorado Pen Show was going to start. Luckily, he did have the opportunity for people who were going to be at the show to sign up. And so I told my mom to make sure she got there exactly on the hour when they open so she can have the opportunity to go to his spot um, and sign up. And she did. She ended up getting a spot around, <clears throat> I think it was 1030. Um, and she got there exactly at nine. So she went there for me and then we were FaceTiming. And while she was waiting for her time to come up, um, she kind of did a little bit of a walkthrough of all the tables and asked me if there's anything that caught my eye. So first things first, these are the things I got. So she did get me an everyday book from, um, this is the Galen Leather brand. And this was, it's the A5 size with the Tomoy River paper. I think this is the old Tomoy River paper. This is blank and these are always great to have, um, especially with the old Tomoy River paper. So. There's no need for me to open it because I can't really use it at the moment since I do have other books I'm using. But when I need to use a book um, and I'm ready to use this, it would be, this would be one of the next ones. And so I flew back and I put everything in a plastic baggie just because I didn't want it to get spilled on my clothing. I got some inks from pen realm which were actually on sale they had bins of inks that were highly discounted so they got me um, Robert Oster black violet it's a really dark purple and I got Sailor Texas which is like a woody a light um, warm brown has really nice shading and they also came across Ferris Wheel Press, and I've been meaning to get this color. We ended up paying full price for this one. This one wasn't on sale. And I think it was at a different shop. Okay, so another thing she got me was the pen well. And this is for, it's like a pen stand that allows you to keep your pen in place in the nib. They have so many different uh, kinds of materials that you can buy. They have metal and wood, and I ended up getting this one. I felt like it would really go well with my um, boxes, my classic -y boxes that I have. So I wanted, it kind of does match pretty good. Yeah, so I wanted the lighter wood and it has a name. I just, I honestly don't know as I wasn't there. Um, it was hard to remember. But the cool thing about these is that they will stay in place 
and they do have quite a few different inserts. Whoa, okay, so yeah, it does stay in place. So if I keep it here, it has a little bit of a sticky bottom, but I think it works best when you have a pen that <clears throat> doesn't have a clip. So you put your pen in there and then you can just twist the body off to use. And then when you're done using it, you just twist it back on. So they have different felt like inserts to keep it snug depending on the size of your pen. That was an additional cost and I decided against it and just went with this one, which is the standard that it came with. And I figured whatever pen I'm using, um, if it doesn't fit, I won't use it for this purpose. This one seems to be a really good fit and it has like the wood look on it. So I think that would be a really good fit for this. So yeah, it's not quite sticky. It's like this, I don't know, it, it will hold on to whatever surface you have it on. So I'm just setting that aside. I also got the um, Colorverse that was also there. I guess this is black. I haven't even looked at it quite yet, but this was on sale for like $12, which is a steal. And this would be my first like Colorverse large and small set that I've ever gotten. So I'm excited to check that out. I have been more into black inks lately, so I am excited about this. Again, it comes in 65 mils and 15 mils. So these were the inks I got. And then the I did get <clears throat> a wooden holder for my pens. So I thought this would be nice to display pens I'm using or just a quick place for it to, to put down my pen. And then the best thing is this, this pen holder. And this was, um, I'm not quite sure who, what's the brand of this pen holder, but it does, uh, it might, she was able to purchase it at the pen round booth and it has little feet on it, which makes it stand up and it's not like uneven or anything. So it's very well made. Um, the inside isn't too like rough, which is nice. And I don't even know how many it can hold. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Huh. It's an odd number. Um, so yeah, so we got this and I really like it. It fits a lot of my pens. I was kind of nervous it wouldn't fit my Visconti or the Jin Hao, but it does and with room to spare. So I haven't yet found a pen in my collection that won't fit just yet. I haven't tried all of them, um, but if there is one, I will let you know. So some of the pens I have here um, are all inked. Um, I will do a what's inked video soon. Uh, but another thing that um, my mother did was get my two pens fixed and the nibs uh, ground. So I may have briefly talked about my Homo sapien Visconti. Um, this one is really, it's new. This is I think my most expensive pen to date. And when I first got it, it really didn't write well. And I got it from a shop that was able to do smoothing and tuning and it still came out terrible. Um, actually, when I first got it, it didn't have the, uh, like the piston part of the back end of this pen. So when I open this, because it's inked, I can't open it now, but when I opened it, this whole piece came off and there was no metal rod. Um, and so I had to send it back and 
like two and a half weeks later, I finally got it back and then the nib was just terrible. So there's been a lot of bad luck with this pen and um, my mother was luckily able to get Kirk Spear to smooth and tune it. It's a medium, but I wanted to keep it the same size. I just wanted him to fix the nib because it wasn't writing, it was railroading, um, it was really dry. So now it's really wet and it writes really well. So I'm really excited about that and um, really excited to do a review of this one um, after some time. And then the other pen is my Santini Italia. Italia and uh, I forgot the name of the color that they call it on the shop, but this is made with their own nibs. And for some reason, the nib was just, it was squeaky and I couldn't get it fixed personally myself with, um, with a, like a gritty paper and it just wasn't working out. So I decided to get it ground to a fine and it writes really nice and it's also wet it's like a delicious writer so let me I just got like off of the plane and at home and I not sure how well these are gonna do because I don't know if there's gonna be like a lot of burping I personally I mean I haven't traveled too often with my fountain pens but I haven't seen a lot of burping with my fountain pens personally, but we will see. So I'll just do a quick writing sample of these two pens. So you can see, and this is the lightweight paper, but it should still give you an idea. Let's see. Yeah, it's writing just a little dry just because it was hasn't been written with in a while and also it was on the plane so plus I went from super high altitude to low altitude so let's try it on to my river paper So because it was ground to a fine, I do find that it's not overly smooth and there's actually some feedback, which I don't mind. At the time of grinding the nib, my mom is not very, well, <laughs> I just kind of blurped out. Um, familiar with like nibs and their sizing and like what to tell a nib smith so I was on FaceTime with her trying to explain it to her what to tell him and I think he did a pretty good job I mean it writes so much better and it's not squeaky and I can actually use it in my planners because it's a fine Spell that wrong. Um, and this is the 
black violet. So it almost looks black, but there's like hints of purple. Okay, so let's look at my Visconti. I actually haven't inked this. I dipped it, my nib, and it still writes. Wow. Really nice. Quite smooth. It's a medium gold nib. And this is actually Sailor Texas. And it's so smooth. There's not much feedback with this one, but that's okay. Um, I'm so glad that it writes 20 times better than it did before. All right, so you could probably hear this um, water <laughs> releasing from my washing machine so sorry about that but anyway that's what I got and I'm so grateful that my mother was willing to go down there for me um, she we well she does live in Colorado but not in Denver um, however she wasn't too far away just about a 40 minute drive so it wasn't bad and it worked out really well. I got my my two actually quite pricey fountain pens fix and I'm pretty pleased with the results. Oh, and there was one more. So I did get one pen from a man who I cannot remember his shop, but this was from his own collection. He had been collecting fountain pens from a young age. So he's actually getting rid of his collection and he had a ton of pelicans. And I saw this one, um, I knew it looked smaller and I kind of wanted a more of a pocket type of pen. I don't think it's that small. Like this is a Twisby and this is the pelican. It's a little bit taller than a Sailor um, Pro Gear. And so this is the Pelican 120. It's in really good shape. And he tested it out for us. It's actually a vacuum filler. No, not vacuum, a piston filler. And the nib is a gold nib. It's an extra fine, but it writes like a fine and it writes so well. I'm not quite sure what ink he has in here as this was already inked by the time I picked it up from my mother, but um, I guess it was some type of blue black ink that they used because he tested it out for her to make sure it wrote before she bought it. And it was only like $30. So I think it was a steal, and it writes so well. It's actually quite comfortable. 
and I can get a little bit of line variation. But yeah, really fun. Um, so yep, very grateful and thankful. Um, to my mother who was able to do this for me. Um, I still have yet to go visit a pen show myself. Hopefully 2023 will be the year I can do that. I would like to go to the DC and the San Francisco pen show, but I think I might be able to go to the DC show next year. Um, all right. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you for watching. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.